come to the stock market. Now, let's open the first chart. Let me go here and open a chart. Let's open anything. I have opened a chart of, let's say, Bharti. Now, what is this? This is a technical chart. What is a technical chart? It is a pictorial representation of the stock market prices. This is a pictorial representation of stock market prices. So, and we see price goes up also, price goes down also. Let's say you decide to buy Bharti Airtel. You think it is going to go up. You decide to buy Bharti Airtel. We are not jumping into the stock market. Are you liking the session so far, guys? Great. Thank you very much. So I'll try. See, in two hours, I cannot teach you stock market. It will take six months to one year. But in two hours, I can introduce the stock market to you. So, let's say you want to buy the Bharti Airtel here. You think it is going to go up. You instruct your broker on Monday, buy Bharti Airtel for you 500 shares. So, he buys Bharti Airtel for you. Now, in which direction do you want Bharti Airtel to go? Right up. That's how you will make money. Great. Thank you. Now, these 500 stocks, shares of Bharti Airtel that you bought, somebody sold those 500 shares to you. Now, this person who sold the 500 shares to you, in which direction does he think Bharti will go? Up or down? Down? Now tell me, can both of you be right? The answer is no. One of you has to be wrong for sure. That means the first risk that you incur in the market, the first risk you have is you have a win-lose model. Win-lose model and invisible opponent. Right? Whether you're trading a stock or option or a future, you have a win-lose model and an invisible opponent. And an invisible opponent. So this is your, because you don't know when you are buying or selling you're doing it with an individual or a mutual fund or an insurance company or a FII or a DI. So you have a win-lose model and an invisible opponent and no idea if he has more or less skill than you. Right? Let's understand the first risk that you have. It is a win-lose model. And an invisible opponent, no idea if he has more or less than skill to you. That means at every stage, you have to keep on improving your skill. And you have to keep on learning more because you don't know on the other side what is the level of skill of the other person. Do you agree with me on this one? This is the first risk. This is the first risk. That we have. So the first risk is the is a win-lose model and it is an invisible opponent on the other side. And you need to have a skill level more than that. The second risk that you have into the stock market is a... Let's go. The second one is direct money risk. What is a direct money risk? Let's talk about that. In every other place, your money risk is indirect. 
Like for example, if you are doing a job, you know, you can do a mistake, say sorry to your boss, maybe he won't cut it from your salary. But, uh, and if you're doing a business, you can do a mistake, talk to your customer, say sorry, maybe he won't cut it from your bill. But has it ever happened that you have lost, you know, 50,000 rupees in a trade? You call the National Stock Exchange and say sorry, Please don't cut it this time. Next time I will not do it. Has anybody got the money back? No. And do you know, psychologists have said there is one thing in every man's life about which he is most emotional. Can anybody tell what is that thing about which every man is very emotional? Money, very good answers you are giving me. Money, about money everybody. And here you are directly dealing with money. So if you do not have the skill and you are putting money and you don't know what your opponent is on the other side, your emotional risk is very high. Direct money. Is. The third risk you have into this is emotional risk. Now, tell me one thing, those who suffered losses, you had your trade going very well. And after some time, you couldn't control yourself, even though you knew the technical, you knew the candle, you knew your strategy, and you became so emotional that your trade got spoiled and your small loss become a big loss. Or you started fighting with the market happens hota hai ki nahi hota hai ki kehta sir mera control hi nahi raha apne aap pe mujhe samajh mein nahi aaya main kya kar raha tha it is because you are dealing directly with money with an invisible opponent and you are on a direct money risk so this and this thing hum in cheezon ko sochte nahi we don't think about this that's why these are the things we have to think about. Other thing, let's again go back here. The second, so first is it is a debt model. It is a win-lose model. You are always at 100% risk. Let's talk about this risk part once more. Once more. You know. Let's say you're learning how to drive a car. Obviously, you are not, uh, you know, you're not born with that skill. You learned at some stage. So before you learned how to drive that car, what was your risk on that car? 100%. Then you started practicing and you started gaining the skill. What is skill? Skill is transfer of knowledge from conscious mind to subconscious mind with practice, practice and practice. Gradually, your skill started improving. And after some time, you could drive effortlessly on the road. Now tell me, what is your risk in that driving now, now that you're skilled to drive? What percentage? 100%, the, the correct answer is 100%. The risk always remains the same. The difference is now you have a skill to balance it. Now you have got a skill to balance it. Please remember, the risk will always be there. It is your skill that will balance the risk. And that is why it is very important to have a very high degree of skill since you are directly dealing with money here. Another risk is, now let's see another risk. Let's say you bought Bharti Airtel here at this place. At 358, you bought Bharti Airtel. Now, what is risk here at this point? What is your risk? Your capital is at risk. Capital is at risk. 
आपका कैपिटल रिस्क पे है अभी कैपिटलिज्म नाउ दिस बिग मूव कम्स इन भारतीय एयरटेल एंड भारतीय एयरटेल गोज अप थर्टी फोर रुपीज एंड नाउ यू आर मेकिंग गुड प्रॉफिट नॉट टेल मी हैज योर रिस्क इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज आपका रिस्क बढ़ा या घटा most people say decreased the answer is it has increased it has increased why because here at this stage you are not sold it yet your capital plus profit is at risk your capital plus profit is at risk so when when you go to a bank and give your money in a fd the moment you give your money on entry your risk becomes zero but uh, when you come to the stock market when you buy something your risk starts at that time so and only when you exit does your risk finish so what is your risk your risk is the time risk you have a time risk so what is the next risk you have let's see let's first talk about risk you have number 4 time risk the more is the time that you are holding a stock the more is the risk many people think oh buy and hold is the safest no sir buy and hold is the most risky because your time risk is the maximum time risk is the maximum I got a huge attendance today, guys. Thank you very much for coming. I have almost 270 people who are attending this webinar, and at the end of the session, I also have a fantastic year-end offer for you. So, so now, what is the fourth risk? It is the time risk that you have. So you have a skill risk, you have a time risk, and what is the fifth risk you have? The fifth risk you have is money risk because the most of the people who the money you will bring would not be from that you have earned from the stock market where will you get most of your money that you will bring to the stock market guys it will be your from your salary it will be from your savings from your fds hard earned money so imagine the moment you enter the market aapne isme kadam rakha to aapko panch risk lag gaye will lose risk invisible opponent no idea how skilled the person is darent money risk emotional risk time risk and money risk now tell me with this this kind of risk that are available to you should you try it just like that or should you be properly trained and come how should you enter the stock market nobody is talking about these people are talking about a great strategy by which they become karodpati i have seen very few karodpatis and a lot of rodpatis it's a great profession i would i do it full time okay i stay in mumbai guys okay so these are the five risks that you go so now that we are uh, you know understanding the risk now let's go to the next question ki karna kya i have so many people who come to the stock market they say i want to make money here then i ask him how will you make money here so that, that i don't know sir but i want to make money how many of you are in this boat you want to make money but you have no idea how say yes if you are there if you are in this situation you want to make money but you have no idea what to do and everybody is giving you all kind of uh, you know ideas somebody is saying do options somebody is saying have a great strategy somebody says give money to somebody to handle 
But one thing I'll tell you very straight, the only person who can make money for you into the stock market is you yourself. And the way you become a doctor, the way you become an engineer, the way you did anything else, same way you become a trader and an investor.